How to make beef stew. Hello, welcome to Video Jug. My name is CJ. Today I'm going to show you how to make beef stew. It's the perfect dish for really cold weather or if you just want to hug somebody. So let's get started. You'll need the following ingredients to serve four people beef stew. And don't worry, there'll be a full recap at the end. Step one, season the beef. The first thing you want to do is season your beef. It's cubed, um, it could get smaller than this if you'd like. I think this is a good size. I just got it pre-cut at the supermarket. Very, very easy. If you want it smaller, you can cut it down. So let's go ahead and season it up. It's very, very important. Season, season all sides of the beef. Start with one layer of salt here. And we'll come back to that little pepper. A little more salt, kind of move it around. Now another thing we're gonna do is add a little bit of flour here. This will help bring an even more rich brown flavor to the beef and it'll also um, help bind up the beef stew when you're done cooking it, when you add some liquid. And I kind of toss it around just to coat. Once this is coated, I'm gonna bring it over to a hot pan, which I will do right now, and we will sear it up. So let's go. Step two, brown the beef. First thing, we add some canola oil to a very hot pan. I use canola oil because Higher smoke point, it's flavorless, and it'll get nice and hot. So here we go. We're gonna start adding. You're gonna hear a nice sizzle. There we go. We don't want the meat too close together, or else it'll kind of steam instead of getting brown. Now we can go back and chop some of our veg we'll be using to uh, flavor up this broth and make the stew what it's supposed to be. Step three: prepare the veggies. Again, just like the size of the beef, you can kind of make this veg any size you want. So I like to make mine kind of large and uh, cut some more green celery for some nice crunch in there. Then carrots, nice big chunks because it, it will be cooking for a long time. Another key ingredient to beef stew is potato. Uh, its starch kind of breaks down and adds in there like thickening agent to the stew, making it very, very hearty. So same thing, kind of big chunks here with the potato. You may not need this whole thing. There we go. Okay, and I've got some onion here cut up in the same size too, and that'll be going in also. Step four, caramelize. And it looks like my meat is browning quite nicely. The magic of the web here, you might want to brown it a little bit more. But for now, that is good. Just dump the meat in here, leaving all that beautiful grease and meat love in there that we have. Now there's some brown bits in here and some, uh, you know, leftover like beef fat and stuff. That's all gonna add flavor to our final dish. Add our uh, veg now. And I add a little bit of butter. And there we go, I'm gonna let these caramelize up for a little while. Okay. These are starting to get some nice color on them. Um, I also have some mushrooms here, which are gonna add to the beefy flavor of the whole operation. And I didn't add them in the beginning because they're gonna excrete a lot of moisture. They're mostly moisture like us. So I'm adding uh, the mushrooms now, and they'll get some color on them themselves also. And again, we'll let this caramelize, probably like another 10 minutes or so. And then we'll add our beef back. Step five, add the broth. It's starting to look like a stew now, hey oh. Now I'm gonna add some tomato product, in this case tomato paste. And I'm kinda gonna smear it in on the bottom there and kinda work with it a little bit because that kinda roasts the tomato paste even more. Once I kinda get that going, I'm gonna kinda just move all the other vegetables around there with it. And they'll kinda get coated in the tomato paste. All right, now we're ready to add some of the wine. Here we go, just a little bit of red wine. About a cup or so. What we want to do is when the wine hits, we're going to scrape off all that stuff on the bottom that the beef left behind and whatever else is left behind here. Cook off all that alcohol. We don't want to add, add the beef while the alcohol smell and taste is still in there. I mean, I know wine's nice to have with beef, but you don't like to cook the beef in it necessarily if you don't have to. Okay, this most of this wine here is now cooked off. You see it looks, looks fantastic. All right, so let's add the beef now right back in. Boom. It's back in there, kind of coat it here with all the vegetables. And now we'll just kind of cover this up with some stock. I've got some chicken stock, you can use beef stock if you like. Just so it's covering up all the beef here. Boom, there we go. 
I like to add some aromatics right now. First, actually, I'm just gonna add some thyme. I just drop it right in. Bam, there it goes. And we wanna bring this up to like a simmer and simmer it slow and low for about three hours, about two and a half, three hours. They're small pieces of meat. If they were even smaller, it would take less time. Another key thing to do here is to get a piece of parchment paper. This is very like French, I suppose. I'm just gonna kinda of put it in like this so it's touching all the levels, all the, the bottom portion where the liquid hits of the meat. I know it seems kind of strange, it doesn't really like a home cooking move, but it will definitely add to a better beef dish. All right, so we're gonna cover this up and cook for about two and a half to three hours. Step six, garnish and serve. Okay, it's been three hours, now we're gonna check out how our beef stew looks. Here we go. We still got that layer of parchment, which I will take off right now. There we go, in a bowl. And yes, it looks quite nice to me. The potatoes are nice and soft, almost falling apart. There's a nice richness in the stew. That looks yummy. Okay, when I make my beef stew, it's really, really thick and rich, so I kind of make, I need some, something to cut it. So I go a little, little lemon on some parsley here. A little bit of olive oil. There we go. And some salt. And kind of mix this around here just to make a little bit of salad. They'll go on top. There we go. Just a teeny amount. Nothing too crazy. There we go. There is beef stew with a little bit of parsley uh, salad on top. Ready to eat.